Hi Dodie Knights, Mrs. Red Fox here. I hope that you had a great weekend and that you are having a good week so far. Uh, I hope that you are staying happy and healthy. And I just hope in general you are doing well. You might have noticed I am using the word hope quite a bit in my opening conversation. Well, that's because I'm going to talk about hope today. You know, what is hope? What does it mean to have hope? What brings you hope? What makes you hopeful? Well, to have hope is to want an outcome that makes your life better. And having hope can get us through some pretty difficult times. Um, and having hope can actually improve our lives because we envision a better future and once we can see it, sometimes that gives us the energy to take the steps to actually make things happen. And whether we think about it or not, hope is a part of every single person's life. It's just a part of being human because everyone hopes for something. And it is just what we need in our lives to kind of get us through those difficult, dark times. Now, recently, the rainbow has become a symbol of hope. And this is the rainbow that I actually have hanging um, in my window, in the door, um, on the side of my home. And I purchased this rainbow quite a few months ago, kind of right at the beginning of COVID when um, we had to start staying home and we had to start uh, distance learning and going through that whole process. And I was looking for hope. I was looking for something like a symbol, something I could look at that would just give me reassurance, peace and encouragement. Well, I found that the rainbow did that and that the rainbow actually was a symbol of hope and solidarity. A belief that everything is going to be okay and it was also a way to show compassion and gratitude to all of the people that were working the front lines and even the patients and people that were going through COVID so every time I drive down my street um, I look to see if there's any houses that have rainbows and I, I have found some um, some of my neighbors actually have placed rainbows in their windows and when I see that it's it's just that reassurance that we all have hope now thinking about rainbows rainbows of course are beautiful colors and we sometimes get lost in just what the rainbow stands for the symbol of hope but what do the colors of the rainbow stand for you know recently a lot of research has been done on colors as well and colors can say a lot about um, just our personalities and sometimes a little bit about our moods too. So if you have a favorite color of the rainbow, I'd like to kind of tell you what that color represents and what it says a little bit maybe about you. So if you love the color red, red is the first color of the rainbow from the top and red signifies passion, vitality, enthusiasm, and security. And it is the light with the longest wavelength. Orange. Orange is the light and it's a combination of yellow and red. It is a dynamic color that represents creativity, practicality, playfulness, as well as equilibrium and control. If you like yellow, yellow is the color of sunshine itself. It represents clarity of thought, wisdom, orderliness, and energy. If you like green, green is the middle color of the rainbow and represents growth, balance, health, and wealth. If blue is your favorite color, this is the fifth color of the rainbow, which sometimes makes us think of the unknown because it, we can relate the color to the sky and wide oceans. And this color is also um, noted with spirituality. Indigo. This is believed that indigo is very sedating, very calming, very relaxing, very, very chill. It's like a mystical color. And finally, violet. 
Violet is the last color of the rainbow and it's a mix of red and blue and it is considered the highest element of spirituality and it can ignite one's imagination and be an inspiration to artists. You know, symbols of hope are important. We all have our own symbols of hope. To some of us, maybe it's a butterfly. To some of us, maybe it's an animal or um, maybe just hearing wind chimes. That can be a symbol of hope. Whatever your symbol of hope is, you know what, embrace it and enjoy it and let it just fill you with the energy and desire to tell yourself that everything's going to be okay, that we are going to get through all of this, whatever this is, and we're getting through it together. Like I mentioned, we all have hope. That is something that ties us together and it just kind of brings us together as one group. And even though we might hope for different things, you know, my hope for you is always the same. Um, every year I start out with a hope for my sixth grade students that they will do well in school, that they will find friends, that they will enjoy the process, that they will find out a little bit of who they are and just open their eyes to um, the journey ahead of them. And my other hope is that they know they always have me in their corner. And that hasn't changed. Even though you and I have not necessarily had the time together that we usually would if it was a normal year, my hope for you is still the same. And I continue to hope that you are doing well this year and that you are finding joy in the everyday situations and possibilities. And soon enough, you and I are gonna be able to have these conversations in person and you will be able to share what your hope is with me and what your symbols of hope are with me. And I look forward to that day very, very much. So until that time, every Tuesday, I will be checking in with you and just sharing some of myself with you and giving you some positive things to think about. And for this week, I hope that it goes well and that you are staying healthy and safe. And if you need me, you know where to find me. I am easy to find and I will always be here for you. So you've got my heart and I will talk to you in a week, if not sooner. Take care, Donnie Knights.